Hello my soccer universe, we are smack dab in carnival season and since we are approaching the end on a hi highlight in many ways for it, which is Fat Tuesday, I decided to look at the one carnival jersey that I have, which of course is this one here, in the more detail a little bit later. Um, but yeah, uh, Fat Tuesday is usually the big day, I want to wear it on Fat Tuesday, maybe that's the first time in a long time that I'm actually going out for some real carnival stuff, although I have been known to wear a uh, Venetian mask here or there as well. But I think tomorrow it will be uh, the carnival tourism shooting this uh, Monday lunchtime. Anyway, uh, I before we go to this wonderful, beautiful jersey that at of this shooting is still with original with tags. I will take the tags off because I want to wear it and then I have to wash it, which has been a little bit. Uh, a little bit backstory. I have to say that uh, specialty jerseys like this Carnival jerseys, which uh, came out for Cologne and Mainz, or uh, Oktoberfest jerseys, especially for 1860 Munich, although Bayern has been dabbling in this as well, have become sort of a staple in the Bundesliga already. And I'm... <laughs> so and so about it to be honest uh it's of course a way to cash in but uh and some of them are really not all that great looking but then there are some that are really nice i mean the one of the most famous ones for uh fc Köln was the one where they went with this whole uniform thing uh which Honestly, it looks awesome, but on the other side, I think it went also a little bit a step too far. And I see it also in other leagues popping up now. I think there was the bullfighting jersey by Pamplona last season. I don't know, stuff like that. In any case, most of those specialty jerseys are not that great. However, having said this, when I saw this, when it was released, and I think it was released on the 11th of 11 at 11 11, which is the official start of carnival season in Cologne. Now, right off the get go, I need to tell you uh, the German carnival, I respect it, but I honestly sometimes i don't get it because the type of humor that i'm used to in austria is very different from the one in germany although we sort of kind of speak the same language uh so yeah on the other hand um it carnival fits to cologne the cologne fan base alone is i think one of the most positive one i remember when they once got promoted uh, the commentator was kind of half joking that yeah this means that they're already looking up the champions league dates for two week uh, two years from from now because in cologne it's a crazy city it's a crazy club they always think they're winning now back to this jersey when this was released i knew that i wanted to have a white FC Köln jersey. FC Köln, FC Köln is one of my favorite uh, teams and i got this red one which i really really love but I saw this and I'm looking at it and saying, you know what, this might be the best looking white and red current jersey you will ever get. In addition, this one manages to put so many things of the city of Cologne and of the carnival season into one jersey that I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love it. All as they have the current carnival jerseys or cologne have the city crest or uh, the, the middle part which is uh you, if you look it up this is also when they have the big carnival convention the logo is squarely the city logo with the teardrops for hermelind and the three crowns in there so that is there then the overall design is one of the most um fabled uh costumes which is the um, rack clown costume where you basically take little squares knit them together in colorful ways and you get a costume look at just the detail that they went to to make this uh here you can actually see the stitches i mean it's not really there but uh it's made on there it's even made onto the sponsor so already full points for that but then what either puts it over the top or tips the scale a little bit too far is all those little details on the jersey within the squares we have for instance there is uh right here uh, the railway then we have the teardrop from the crest we have the stadium we have of course the cologne cathedral which in itself alone is for me enough 
to get it. We have the Billy Goat, which is a symbol of Erzirka. We have the cap for the car carnival. Uh, and then this starts all over again. In the second row, we have, uh, this is a little bit more uh, carnival. We have the um, drum, we have kind of the, you know, uh, some paper spiral. Then we have uh, uh, roses, of course. We have the crown, we have the bridge, and then we have uh, the TV tower of Cologne. So it's all really nicely incorporated there. Um, absolutely, absolutely love this one. You saw it already in my, in my top 10 jersey review. You also saw it uh, when I actually unpacked it. There's just so many things in there that I absolutely love. But I think these touches. Then, as I said, the sponsor, maybe without it would be even better. But I think it's incorporated quite well. And it's, uh, although I really don't like this group, uh, it is very unintrusive it is red and white with four letters so uh that's fine as well more details um we have three of the symbols also on the sleeve cuffs which they always had is the crown the cathedral and the carnival cap i of course got it with the bundesliga patch i said if i'm going if i'm gonna buy it and i bought full price for it because i know these are limited runs and this was one of the occasions okay probably the most was the second most expensive jersey I ever bought, but I think this was fully worth it. And then the sleeve sponsor, which I probably could have left out, I said, okay, let's go full out. And then since the back was all red and I didn't want it empty, I went for a number. I honestly didn't have a special player in mind. And then I said, okay, 27 is my favorite, favorite number. So let's take 27 Modest, who uh, at the time of this shooting, this video, he's, he's uh, already at Santa Tien again, although he had a very uh, brief, uh, a very successful first spell with Cologne. That this is in yellow kind of adds to the specialness of uh, it. Um, it also says, Erst if the Kirsch, Burbe, Anders, we uh, kind of meaning uh, Erst if the Kern, you can feel it that it's different and this is also put on the inside the color same thing we have also a little bit of yellow on there it's just an overall awesome jersey and i'm really looking forward to wear this tomorrow during the carnival parade now uh i can maybe imagine that there might be some fakes made so i want to also mention the tag situation um there's also the Ulsport badge, which is means this is my only Ulsport jersey so far. The uh, tags in this jersey are on this side of the collar, on a black string, and it is gives you all the Ulsport technology stuff. Then uh, a little bit more on how to wash it. They actually sent me a really nice letter how to wash that one, and then that this is an official fan article of Erster F. the current so really nicely done then um, I think it also came in a gym bag with the same design I'll just get it in a sec I'm just looking at the tags in here as well there is a little number tag in there a very little one that is probably the one that uh, you want to look out for in uh, together with washing instructions you have to be very careful with washing is especially if you get it with print what a beautiful jersey what a beautiful jersey uh this is i i cannot tell you how much i love it alone this with the crest is fine the pattern but uh there's so much uh to the city, city of cologne in here that i i'm absolutely beside myself by the way here's also that is an official product there's the tag here and then uh smart breathe uh light kind of the material so you know all kinds of stuff there and we also have the three uh symbols which is on sleeve cuffs are on the bottom here i think i voted this my second or third most favorite jer jersey from 2020 i absolutely love it i absolutely absolutely lo love it let me know what you think about this one the Officially, I call it Carnival Joe. The theory is the Fastelovent tri uh, tricot, and I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing this right. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Please drop a line below to tell me what you think about this one, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. 
Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon as it will remind you whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.